Intro, please. Right, so a bit of a different one this week. I'm going to run for, I think it's 16 of my best sales through April the 5th and to May the 5th while you watch in the background old footage of me going around charity shops and possibly boot sales because we have no charity shops or boot sales open at the moment. Right, these are going to be in no particular order through when they were sold. Um, I might try and put them in most expensive to the cheapest. I might not, depends how lazy I'm feeling. Right, so the first lot we've got on here are Nike Air Max 90s. Um, they're obsidian in colour and I got $34.99 plus $3.99 postage. They came in my trainer's haul and they owe me around about £8.20 I think it was. Right, next up some nice vintage Adidas ATP on tour trainers. Again, these came from my uh, trainer wholesale video and I got £46 plus £3.99 postage. Nice. Next up is an item that's been hanging around for quite a while, pretty much since I first started doing reselling, hence the, uh, the different background and the not so great picture. It's a pair of Sony medium sized speakers. I ended up getting £19 and a penny plus £8.99 postage. Result. Oh, some more Natusia. Natusia, Natusia. Just. Alright, so this next one was uh, quite a nice purchase. It was a Harley Davidson shirt. It was sort of like a um, like a quilted shirt. I paid £6 for it in a charity shop literally just before we went into lockdown. And it went on the, uh, the global shipping program for £42 plus £3.99 postage. Now that's what I call a good sale. Mmm, baggy. Baggy for my shoes. Thank you. Another really good sale here. Some uh, Dr. Martin canvas style boots with uh, tattoo pictures all over them. I actually picked them up for a boot sale. Um, might have even been before the turn of the year and they were a bit grubby and everything and I just I didn't really know what to do with them I didn't really know if I should bother selling them because they were in quite bad condition I only paid £2 for them but I gave them a quick clean with a rejuvenator kit and I ended up getting oh my god I can't remember the pictures just disappeared quick this is not professional quickly 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 Ah, $32.99 plus $3.99 postage. So, yeah, worthwhile picking them up, especially since they were only £2. And please ignore my extremely bad professionalism there. I promise it won't happen again. Maybe. Okay, yeah, it probably will happen again, but that's our little secret. Don't tell no one. Oh, and if you want to know what that roaring is in the background, I've got my little girl with here, and she's got a little tiger that wants to communicate with everyone. So if you want to give us a little roar back, then roar, I guess. Right, so anyway, now we've got that out of the way, back to the video. Uh, another pair of Nike Air Max Classic BWs. Um, they came in the trainer hall like the others and I got $41.99 plus $3.99 postage. I uh, probably could have got more for them because I literally listed them up and within about 10 minutes they sold. So usually when you list things that quick and they sell that quick it's because they went up really really cheap. So I was happy, the buyer was happy but I probably could have got more. So it is what it is I guess. Still filled my pocket with cash. So I'm happy. Yeah. Another really, really cool sale is this TV video combo by Iowa. Um, not really seen too many Iowa ones. Iowa are actually a pretty good brand. They're a pretty good stereo brand. So you kind of feel like that would filter out into all their other stuff. Um, I started picking up um, video TV combos only if they've got remotes. I used to pick them up quite a lot beforehand without remotes, but 
the problem is in this day and age is everyone's really lazy and they don't want to sit down put something on and then have to get up and go over to the tv and change the channel or whatever so i always try and make sure i pick them up with remotes now it also means you can command a little bit more money um the great thing about this one as well was it was actually a localish person that bought it uh, it was a an elderly chap who found loads of old home videos and wanted to check them out and see if anything was worth saving and to save on the postage cost well well to be fair actually um, we, we agreed to leave the postage cost on there but to save the hassle of me boxing it up and sending it off to a courier and then it probably going halfway around the country just to go somewhere local to me uh, we decided that I'd actually go and deliver it to him um, obviously we done no face-to-face -face contact uh, I put it on his doorstep and told him it was there and then he came and picked it up and stuff and he was really really grateful and he gave me really really nice feedback so definitely worthwhile picking these sorts of TV combos up because people don't really think there's a lot of money in them so you can usually get them for free so profit margins on them are pretty good yeah I think I paid 20 pound for this one actually so I did kind of pay up for one but you offer someone £20 for one of them and they think that they're getting a right result and well, they don't realise just the value of them. Don't tell anyone though, it's our little secret. Oh and did I mention I got 65 99 plus 9 postage. Hello! That was my daughter by the way. While we're on the conversation of TVs, here's another one. A Bush TV video combo, again with a remote. This one was actually a little bit faulty. It played tapes, but um, it was a little bit temperamental about taking the tape. You sort of had to kind of flirt with it a little bit, like put it in, and it was like, no, 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 I'm not taking it. And then you'd have to take it out and give it a little bit of a wipe and give it a little bit of a special touch and then push the tape in and then eventually it would take the tape and it would play it fine and everything and it would eject it fine uh, I think again I picked this one up for about 10-15 pound and got 49.99 plus 9.99 postage this was another nice little pickup found it on a pound row in a uh, well I was gonna say a local charity shop but it's actually not a local charity shop but it is my favorite charity shop and we got £29.59 plus £3.99 postage. You can get more for this brand. It's a BAP, a bathing ape t-shirt. It's made in Japan. Uh, they do some really, really cool funky designs. And if you get like a, a really cool funky design, you can command upwards of like £60, £70. Pounds. So definitely worth picking up if you see them. Look out for the logo. It's logo. Logo. Let's logo. Look out for the logo. It's like a gorilla um, the sort of gold stitched on a white label definitely worth looking out for right so this one I would consider as a a bit of a fail didn't really lose any money on it but didn't really make any money on it um, it was a sharp uh, high 8 camcorder it's like a really cool camcorder probably from like the early 90s uh, basically it's like camcorder on one side and then on the other side it's got a big massive display that you can flip around and it takes like the um, the 8mm tapes, 8mm tapes. Uh, it was really really cool, it came with like a carry bag, it came with like a gazillion batteries and cables and tissues and coro no can't say that and just tons and tons and tons of stuff inside there so I took a massive punt on it thinking that well, if it didn't work, it would probably still make money for spares and repairs. Uh, when I got it home, I plugged it in and it tried to sort of power on, but there was just no power in it. So I put the battery on charge, didn't do anything. I put one of the other gazillion batteries on charge, still didn't do anything. Uh, gave it to a friend to see if his dad could have a look at it. He couldn't seem to get it working. So in the end, I come to the conclusion that it didn't work. So I sold it as 40 spares of repairs. Uh, I got £22.39 plus £6.99. I believe I paid about £20 at boot sale for it. So as I say, I probably about broke even because it didn't cost me quite £6.99 to post it in the end. Um, so yeah, this sometimes it's worthwhile taking a risk at a boot sale on electronics, but it is the risk that you run if they are faulty. You live and learn. 
Remember guys, come and check me out on my other social media platforms. You can find me on Instagram at Dan's A Lot of Tat. You can also find me on Facebook with the same name. Uh, my eBay is down in the description below and obviously you wouldn't be doing me any justice unless you like the video, share the video, give me a cheeky subscribe and click the notification bell to see when I next upload a video. Anyway back to the video so this next thing that we've got is a old vintage West Ham uh, football shirt. It was one of those ones, it was around 97, 98 when West Ham didn't have a sponsor. I don't think anyone should sponsor West Ham anyway, they're poo. Yeah, but anyway, uh, I think I picked this one up again on a pound row at my favourite charity shop. And I ended up putting it up for sale, like on a offer sale, because I was fed up of seeing it. Because... And I ended up getting £24 plus £3.99 postage. But yeah, definitely look out for old vintage football t-shirts. Just not rubbish teams like West Ham. <laughs> ah, back to more of what I like. So I picked up these uh, on Facebook Marketplace. Literally again, just before we went into lockdown. Some Nike SB Paul Rodriguez 7 high tops. Uh, size 11, so big size. Came in a box. I actually picked these up along with a pair of James LeBron uh, Nike trainers as well. I've still got the LeBrons. If anybody wants to buy them, go down to my eBay. And if you've come from this video, send me an offer. Tell me you've come from this video and I might give you a little bit more cheeky discount. So anyway, I picked these one up. I think they owed me about £15. I uh, got £50 plus £3.99. I got left bad feedback for these. Um, the bad feedback went along the lines of very disappointed soles were dirty, clearly not new. Now, nowhere in my listing did I specify they were new. They were advertised as used. They even said in the description that they were used. Yet the person didn't even contact me, just left me bad feedback. So I got hold of eBay, ended up having a big old argument with eBay about how unfair the feedback was given the fact that they weren't sold as new even though the seller clearly assumed they were new. eBay told me that you now have to put in an appeal, you can't contact them directly to have feedback removed even though depending on who you speak to, depends on what kind of stories you get. So anyway they said to me that I needed to appeal and maybe I should send the via a message and ask them if they would consider removing their feedback or changing it because they didn't try contacting me or anything like that. If they contacted me and said that they weren't happy, I would have just happily taken the return and refunded them. Uh, eBay yeah, told me that they weren't going to remove the feedback because they don't interfere with people's opinions. Anyway, after I put the appeal in about an hour or so later, I got a reply from eBay. Yes, we can see this is unfair feedback. We've removed the feedback. And then the following day, I got a message from the buyer. Hi, yes, I'm really sorry about the feedback. I did assume that they were new after leaving the feedback. I realized that they weren't new. I'll remove the feedback. But by then, eBay had removed the feedback. So, just goes to show there are some pretty simple-minded people out there that don't read descriptions and then leave inappropriate feedback when they've not done what they should do and read the description. Anyway, I still got to keep the money, they got to keep the shoes, I had the feedback removed, I think everybody was happy. So let's move on. It's another really cool item, I actually think at some point you will see me picking this item up in this actual video, I don't know if I've already posted it or not, but you will see me going to pick it up, but it was a vintage Samsonite hard briefcase, um, I've not seen one of these in years, it was in a really cool charity shop that I found uh, recently that I really really want to go back to, actually while I'm talking about it, it the clip is coming up, so keep watching and you will see the briefcase but yeah it's a charity shop that I do want to go back to it's a, a hospice in the wheel I think it was but everything is like really really dirt cheap in there I think 
I paid like £2, £3 for it and I ended up getting £35 plus £6.99 postage so that was a nice result Right, we are drawing into a close on the best sales of April 5th to May 5th. This one was another nice little one. It was in a last chance St. Christopher's. They were just sitting there looking sorry for themselves for a pound each. And we all know that these sorts of... Well, if you don't know, you do now. But again, don't tell anyone. Um, old CD racks are actually worth a fair bit of money. I had them up for a little bit more on this. I think um, around about £25 for the pair of them. Uh, but some nice chap said that he'd be willing to pay £25 including postage so I told him to put a £18 and a penny in which made it up to £25 if my maths are correct. Uh, there was a little bit of damage to the back of one of them obviously which I showed in the description. Uh, he was more than happy. I went absolutely crazy overboard uh, packing them because at the moment I'm having to send everything with Hermes and while Hermes are doing absolutely brilliant job um, they still can be a little bit careless with fragile packages so anything that I'm sending which could potentially get broken I am absolutely wrapping the crabbers out of um, but yeah he got them a few days later he was super happy gave me lovely feedback again another good sale Right, so we're on to the penultimate sale. If anyone doesn't know what penultimate is, I suggest you buy a dictionary. No, penultimate means the second to last, at least I hope it means the second to last thing, is a pair of... Um, Armani jeans, that's the word I'm looking for, Armani. How could I forget Armani? So anyway, picked up these Armani jeans from a little tucked away charity shop that's kind of local to me. Uh, it was literally just buried in a bin of jeans. Um, top tip, always worth having a good rummage. You might see in this video, um, in one of the little sections, me having a good rummage through a bin finding stuff. You tend to find some really cool things if you have a nice sort of rummage around because they just they get buried and left and left. I ended up picking up these Armani jeans for I think it was about three pound and ended up turning them into 33 pound and 39 I did put them up on a I think it was like a 20% sale originally I had them up for 45.99 again I probably could have got 45.99 if I'd been a little bit more patient but I kind of want the quicker sales so that the, I can get the money in and then the money can rebuy stock again and then I can make videos for you guys and then you guys are happy and then I've got no money and then you guys are happy and then I can make more money and then spend the money and money 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 tax great pickup Right, so here we are. This is the last item that sold between April 5th and May 5th. It wasn't the most expensive item that I sold. It obviously wasn't the most cheapest item I sold. Again, this is uh, another item that I picked up uh, from a boot sale earlier on in the year and it just sat in my drawer waiting for me to actually either decide to sell it, not sell it, I don't know what I would have done with it if I didn't decide to sell it, but I finally got it out of the drawer, checked it out, tested it, it worked, listened to some random person talking about what sounded like a architectural job that he was doing, so the person that I bought it from obviously didn't think about wiping the tape, but again it was in a little box that was, uh, was like an end store of a boot sale and they, they just had crates of like just full up of stuff and I was having a good rummage through and I saw the uh, the package the like the, the case that it was in and my first thought was hopefully it's like a, a little dictaphone <laughs> dick um, and yeah it was and yeah I asked the lady how much she wanted for it and she said a pound and to be honest a pound you, you're gonna take the risk because of obviously how much I got for it 
you can see clearly there 29.99 plus 3.99 postage obviously it does help if they're working it does help if they come with a tape um, the tapes are not cheap I could have taken the tape out of it and probably maybe taken five pound less for it and probably got another tenner for the tape especially since it was a Phillips tape so if you ever just find the tapes or if you buy one of those these um, little talking dictaphone things uh, even if it doesn't work the tapes still worth a little bit of money so if you pick them up cheap enough you could just sell the tape but yeah it's uh, Sanyo's not a great brand but yeah it's still pretty strong money I'm always going to be happy to turn one pound into thirty pound and that's the last pickup uh, well it's not the last pickup I sold loads of other things I just didn't think you'd really be interested in smaller sales let's face it we all come on YouTube to see how great uh, resellers uh, we are and not how great we are at selling two and three pound items um, I like to be transparent and I'm clearly not the best reseller in the world and there are some resellers that are, are clocking in hundred plus pound sales at each time and racking in hundreds and thousands of pounds I, I'm quite new to this I'm just letting you experience what I'm experiencing and hopefully you're enjoying what I'm doing and if you are then please do feel free to subscribe and like the channel and all that jazz if you do give me a thumbs down put down in the comments why it's really quite annoying seeing a thumbs down and then no reason to why you're giving it a thumbs down but yeah anyway guys that was the last uh, pickup and I will catch you in the next one. See you later. <laughs>